we have Buffalo at New England. I think this game felt okay. So th- in reality, if you want to look at like just like how this game is set up, like a divisional matchup, a struggling team versus a team that's kind of on top. This game was set up to kind of be an upset, but I don't think like consciously like any of us thought that New England was going to win this game. And it's like, why cannot why can the Bills just not consistently get it done? Like we we already talked about this, and it's just like it happens over and over again. Like the passing leader for this game was Mac Jones. No, I'm glad you said this because that's the thing. You said nobody thought that. That's cat. Because even though I I think I picked I, I think I picked the Bills to win this game, I knew deep down this was the one because we talk about it, like we just talk we talk about this every week. The Bills can never show up consistently to to like competition below them. They love to just play around. And the thing is, what happens? I don't know. Like they they remind me so much of um, but they really do. I, I hate to say it, but I would used to say this about when the Saints were like really good. From the era of like what, like 2018, 20, you know, like that 2019 era right there, like 2017, they would always do this where they would play really good against really good teams and then, but then show up against the, the low, their lower competition and you just never knew what to expect. Sometimes they'd lose it. Sometimes they'd play it way too tight and you're just like, what is the play call selection is all effed up? You're like, what is going on? That's exactly how the Bills feel. You're like, all the identity, all the stuff that worked, we're not going to it tonight. Like, what is the problem? That's, that's what's the most frustrating thing to watch. Cause you don't know what the problem is. That's exactly how the bills feel right now. Yeah. It's just like, it feels like almost like an internal thing. Like it doesn't feel like anything that like, maybe like, obviously their play hasn't been the best, but it feels like there's something in that locker room that is disjoining them whenever they go out on the field, because it's like, sometimes they look dominant. Sometimes they don't. And it's like, it just feels like there's something internal with the bills that just is, does not click all the time. So what you're saying is in when in during all the off season, when we heard all this noise and all this stuff, oh, no, and they kept it's telling fine. us, yeah, you, you're, what you're telling me is when you bring that stuff to the public, it affects everybody psychologically and all these teams try to brush to the side. That's why I think it's very important to remember. It's like, I feel like this is why a lot of great, great teams. That's why you'd never really see that type of stuff coming out. No, because you really can't, you almost can't afford it. Your culture has to be so good that if anything's even in a threat of something like that happening, we come together right away and we make sure we squash it. Like you have to have that type of culture. And unfortunately right now it looks like the bills just don't have that. I agree. I agree. And I think also the divisional aspect of this game makes it worse because let's talk about new England now. Like I don't think anyone, I think it was really obviously like the defense. It was the reason they won this game. But also, why did how 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 do the Patriots end up with twenty nine points against what we thought was kind of an elite Bills defense? So again, I just want to—I don't even know where to start with this one. But I guess I'll say I'll start with shouts to Zeke, right? Shouts to Zeke. Zeke for a little, played well. Shouts to actually shouts to Zeke for a little bounce back game. I'll, I'll admit. He, for the if, you know he didn't get a ton of touches or anything, but when he got in the end zone, it had me cheesing, and I was like, you know what, good hard runs, he got glad to see it back. But yeah, okay, so again, back to Patriots offense. Yeah, methodical. They left all. It's just it's just also I feel like made Mac Jones day easy, right? You know, a lot of a lot of easy windows, a lot of dumps. That and when you let Mac just do that to you, you know, let me let me catch it, rack it. It's right. It's gonna be it's gonna be an easy day for Mac Jones. And what's crazy is like we said, that's the thing. The page or the not the Patriots. The Bills are so much better than that. They're so much. They're so equipped to deal with these situations. I know I'm not all the way healthy, and however you want to look at it. But no matter what, the Bills are are prepared to show up for these games. Prepared to be able to play the defense that needs to be played to beat the Patriots. And when you show up and you fall flat, and it's every other every few weeks. Again, it's like that's the thing is I, this doesn't. I don't think this. I don't think this is much about the Patriots. It just confirms what we know about the Bills. You know, the Patriots got thrown a bone, and they they executed on it. And you got to you got to be right. happy for a Patriots fan, right? But again, it's like, I don't think this bodes for like, is it some it, turnaround for the Patriots? Like, uh-uh. like they've already had, we've almost always been like, that, well, it's you like saw that's going to be the game. question all the time whenever they have a game like this. But it's yeah. like, I think we kind of know what the Patriots are. You saw the reports came out that they gave Belichick an extension in the offseason. Okay. So I think they, they heard me. They heard me. Yeah. I think hopefully, hopefully though, they're on the same page. New GM. Yeah. But yeah it's like, Bill, we got to, I'll give you the money you want if you're willing to step away from the stuff that I want you to. I think he will. <laughs> 